Hi guys, it's Jill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've filmed a makeup video, so I'm really excited today. I actually have a sponsored video just about two launches from the Youth August Cosmetics brand. If you know this brand, you've probably heard me rave about this killer cover palette, which I use for almost everything on my makeup, especially when I'm going to a special event or I'm trying to cover up something that is just going to take a while. This does it without any effort. So today I have two products from them. One is the foundation thinner, which is launching soon. And the other one is the everything pencil. It is a little kit that brings three different semi matte rouge lipsticks, which you can use as, as blush and as lipsticks as well. So they're really exciting. I am going to show you guys how I use them all today. I'm going to do swatches on my lips and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using this palette today as my contour and my concealer. So as you can see, I have nothing on my face yet, but I do want to show you like the difference between my old one. The logo even rubbed up because I use this so, so much, but I will show you the difference in the shades as well. So this one is the original that I had, and then this one is actually the one they sent me. I believe it's a light to medium. So this palette is one of my favorite things that I have in my makeup kit and I use it for everything. I use it as my contour, I use it for concealer, I use it like I said for my eyes. It's just so good and versatile so I'm really really happy to just be using her products and doing this video with her. I'm super honored that they asked me to. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stop talking now. I think for concealer I'm going to be using this shade right here. And they come with this little tiny spoon so we're going to just go ahead and take some of it out. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the foundation thinner looks. This is the packaging right here. It comes in this really sleek white packaging. It says foundation thinner. And on the back it has the directions, which is really nice. So you don't have to wonder how to use this. So the product itself looks like a little dropper bottle. And I think it's really nice. It says foundation thinner. Create your own coverage. Customize your foundation from a full coverage formula to a light and airy everyday liquid with our custom foundation thinner. Our thinner would not be reduced to overall pigmentation of your foundation or concealer products. It says, add a drop or two of custom foundation thinner to your foundation or concealer. Blend to your consistency of your choice and apply with a makeup sponge or a brush. Makeup thinners, I don't know if you're familiar with them, you can use them for a lot of things. If you have a foundation that's really thick, if you have it kind of like in a paste form and it's not liquid, these things come in handy so nice you can even mix them with a little bit of shadow and make an eyeliner so there's so many things that you can use them for okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take one little drop and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix it all all right so here we are mixing it and obviously it doesn't look like I have much in there, but I do. <laughs> I'm taking a little flat brush and I'm just gonna take whatever's left on this little palette and I'm gonna put it right underneath my eyes. And as you can see, that made it so much smoother. We can now go ahead and just blend this out. We can blend it out with a sponge or a brush, whatever's easier for us. But honestly, to me, it's easier with a damp sponge. It just, I don't know, I just really like it that way. And I feel like it looks much more natural. I also love doing my concealer underneath my foundation just because I feel like, especially when I'm using such a, a thick product, it just makes it look a lot more like airbrush and nice so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out first and then we're gonna go ahead and use the darker shades and just a little sponge and let's go ahead and blend this out all right so right there it looks really really nice Honestly, I feel like this foundation thinner made it so much easier because usually I have to spend just a little bit more time blending it, blending it out. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just really thick. So you can see the color of the concealer that I use is just a little bit brighter 
than my skin tone, but that's going to be all taken away once I put their foundation on, so don't panic. It'll look super nice. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on my T-zone, and then we're going to go ahead and put the contour on the other sides. So for this, I'm going to take the same color that I just took, and I'm taking a little bit less just because I know I don't need much. If you want to, you can actually use this to conceal your eyebrows, but I don't really like doing that. So you can see I have a little bit of acne scars on this area, so I did put a little bit more there. Just to make sure like it's all covered once I put the foundation. And using the same sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and blend. All right, you guys, let's bring a little bit of warmness onto this face. I'm looking a little bit ghostly. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the dark color over here. I'm gonna use another section on this palette and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the dark color and then taking just a drop of the thinner. I'm gonna quickly mix this. Perfect. Look at the consistency of how it looks when I mix it. I know it's really hard to get this on camera just because of the angle um, of the palette, but I'm trying my best and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and contour. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. I don't think so. Maybe I'm going to have to use the other palette. Yeah, that is definitely not dark enough. So I'm going to just reach onto my old one and I'm going to reach for this color right here, even though it's going to be a little bit darker. But as you can see, when I try to pull some of this out, it's definitely a little bit thicker in consistency than the other one, just because it kind of, you know, tends to thicken over time. So I feel like we're going to see the difference way better on this one. Perfect. I can feel it, like, becoming so much smoother as I mix it. And I'm going to go right over top of that. Hopefully this doesn't dry before I blend it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit here. And we're going to go to my nose. I'm going to start with the outside of my face and I'm going to use a sponge. So I was really impressed with how the thinner worked. I feel like I only needed maybe one or two drops of this, um, especially when I was using the new palette. But when I was using the old one, I think three was a number just because it's been sitting for a long time, especially because I haven't been using my makeup at all in the last like four months. So yeah, I feel like it's really nice. It's not any more than I use usually with another foundation thinner. So I feel like it worked really, really nicely. It definitely exceeded my expectations. So yeah, I like it. Let's go ahead and put some foundation on the rest of my makeup and then we'll see how everything looks together. Okay, so I put a little bit of powder and I put a little bit of bronzer, but now I want to show you guys the second product because I actually can use it for my lips and for my cheeks. So I want to show it to you as a blush today as well. All right, so here it is. It is called the Everything Pencil Semi Matte Rouge Lipstick. And it comes in this little container right here. Okay, so what it is, it's actually called the Semi Matte Rouge Lipsticks and it's an everything pencil because you can use them for your lips and for your cheeks as well. It comes in three shades and they all come in the same kind of packaging. So here they are. We have this one, which is Showgirl, and we have Chic, and then we have Love. So today we're gonna be using, I think I'm gonna use Chic for my, for my cheeks. <laughs> Chick for my cheeks, but yeah, I think this is the color that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna go ahead just kind of paint it on. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. I feel like I should have put this onto, uh, I don't know, maybe a brush. But yeah, I'm gonna try to just blend this out as best as I can. Looking a little crazy.
I feel like I can still see the strokes. So I wouldn't maybe put this directly onto your face. I would probably put that directly onto like the brush you're using or a sponge. But honestly, I can definitely see that color though. It's really pretty. And I'm just gonna take it with a brush like this. Okay, now we're talking. That looks really nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter as well. I'm gonna be trying the three of them on my lips today. I'm gonna to start with the color Love right here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how easy these are to put on. They're like so buttery. I'm like super impressed. So this color is actually really pretty. I feel like this would be probably my number one pick for the whole week. I feel really comfortable with it. I feel like it looks very feminine, but also it's super neutral and like not too bright, but not too muted. Um, if that makes any sense. And I feel like it just, I don't know. I really, really like it. It goes really well with this shirt. So I love it. They stay really moist on the lips too. So if you kind of struggle with like dry lips or you don't like those like really matte lipsticks, this is like a semi, um, the name does say it's semi matte rouge, but it just feels so comfortable. Um, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? It just looks so pretty. I'm obsessed. We are moving on to the next color. This is the color chic and this is the one I used for my blush today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just paint it on. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, I love the fact that this one looks really nice with like my makeup on my eyes right now, but it's just so pretty. Are you kidding? Okay, so next color we're using is called Showgirl, and this one is the brightest of the bunch, but I feel like this one is such a fall color. I feel like I'm gonna wear it all the time. I also love the fact that they picked so wearable colors. I feel like sometimes I buy like a bundle of lipsticks and they come with like darker shades and lighter shades that I'm never gonna use. So I feel like in this one, if I'm spending the money on these three things, I feel like I'm definitely gonna get some use to it. I also feel like as a blush, this can be something definitely that darker skin tones can use. Okay, so I love the fact that they picked a color that it's red, but it's not like a bright, super bright red. This is such a pretty red. I feel like I'm gonna wear this all Christmas long because I just really like how it looks. And I love the fact that they are kind of shiny, even though they're like matte, they do kind of have a shine to them that it's really just nice. It makes your lips look super juicy and kind of natural. So it, I don't know, I really, really like it. What do you guys think about this one? Which one is your favorite? Let me know on the comments down below because I really want to see. Honestly, so far, I don't think I can pick a favorite because I just love the three of them, like, a lot. So something really cool that this pencils have is that when the tip is done, you don't have to use a pencil sharpener or anything. You can just pull on this little things right here. And once you do, it's going to let this little paper strip loose and that's going to just release your new tip and it's going to be like no. So I went ahead and pulled this little strip down, which let me just take a little bit of this paper strip. Let's assume the tip is gone, and I'm just trying to use my product over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this a couple of times until it shows my tip again. So as you can see, if that was gone, I would have had just a little bit more tip to go, and you can use this up completely which is really cool and you're definitely getting your money's worth. So that is how you reveal your tip once it's used up and I feel like it's really nice and easy. It honestly took me, it's a no brainer really, it took me a second to just figure it out on how to pull this and then just go ahead and take it off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really nice for me to use all these products. I honestly really fell in love with the foundation thinner. I feel like I'm gonna be using it for a long time. And of these three semi matte rouge lipsticks, I feel like these two are going to be in my purse probably on a daily and this is just a really nice color to have like on the holidays coming up. 
Um, I feel like it's such a fall kind of Christmassy lipstick and I kind of left it on just because I really loved how it looked. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not familiar with the brand of Judith, I'm going to leave the link down below so you can check it out as well and you can see the prices and everything else down there. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and as always, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye! I'm at a party I don't want to be at And I don't ever wear a suit